Welcome. Welcome. Uh, my name is your girl and I am living in the mountains of Santa Barbara. I have decided to let the world in on what yurt life is like. And I live here alone. I'm a writer. Struggling, obviously. And um, some interesting things happen at the yurt. And I think... Uh, I think maybe some people would like to hear about them. First of all, for those of you who don't know what a yurt is, it's a Mongolian structure traditionally. Hunter-gatherers, they could break them down easily, and mine stationary. I'm not going to show you in there right now. It's a little personal, but you can keep tuning in and sometime soon. We're in the kitchen area. This is the kitchen. There we are. And out that window, maybe you can see up into the yurt there. There's the shower area. Uh-huh. And here's me. So I live here on this property. There's three other yurts. There's also an Airstream and a camper. Some of you might think, sounds like a commune. And some of you are going, don't use commune, it's intentional community. Me, me, me. I uh, don't choose to refer to it in any way. But, um, so the other night, let's get to the point, I run out of propane. I had a very cold night. Uh, there was ice on my deck when I woke up in the morning. But anyway, I went up to the main house, and I love when I go up to the main house because I never know quite what I'll find. That's where my landlords live, love them. And what I found was a gathering of women about seven women and one woman was we ate dinner it was beautiful I'm a vegan and uh, we ended up yes we we went on a journey and the journey was um, about three hours and I was instructed to wash my hands from my fingertips to my elbows three times and then I was saged my first saging, and uh, then we mixed tinctures, potions, not potions. We mixed essential oil tinctures, and we targeted these mixtures to um, achieve different things. So the first one, we were all like, we got, what happened was, I, I guess traditionally, I, I'm not sure if this is how it is, but my landlord was, she was mixing these, and um, we were smelling all the different properties and then she said okay girls and we, we stood in a line and then she just she spit them all over us and um you know she was new to the whole um she's new to this so it was more of a uh a spitting than a spray and i guess you you want to be sprayed um you you don't want to be spit on we got you know, we, we got spit on quite a lot. It was um it was an interesting an interesting night. And the first one was supposed to be a grounding one, and I really felt it, you know, like ugh. I had to go lay down, I was tired. And the second one we did was this releasing, and we all got kind of emotional, a bunch of emotional women on a mountaintop. And the third was this, uh, supposed to be this uplifting one, and we were just giggling and giggling and giggling, and um, quite an interesting, an interesting night up at the landlords, and met some wonderful women, uh, so there was that. I, um, you know, I had a boy up here, um, I don't know if I should be talking that about that. But it wasn't anything big. But, you know, I don't know how it went. I, there's a composting toilet at, um, awkward. <laughs> he said he knew when one was. It's like, yeah, sure you do, buddy. You know who you are. And, um, what else? I've just been asked on a sailing trip. I'm going to fly to Panama. Going to sail around Central America. I'm also a writer, so I get my ass chewed out every week by my editor. If you care about any of these things, um, you can keep tuning in. I plan to do some of these videos a lot more. And uh, 
you know, I am up here alone, so I think I'm going a little stir-crazy. Just the fact that I'm sitting here talking to myself in this kitchen right now is frightening. I feel like into the wild or something. But <laughs> promise not to pull an into the wild up here. I, I sustain off, you know, fruits and veggies. So if you're interested, keep tuning in. I'm going to do these and uh, shit gets weird up here. So hope you come back. Okay, bye.